Hey guys, good morning, it's Mike Chen. It's my last day here in Singapore. Not even my last day. I'm leaving late tonight, actually, so I'm trying to eat as much as I can before leaving. Breakfast at my favorite Prada place. Best Prada in Singapore. Especially these corn ones. So toasty and flaky and soft on the inside. And the curry, it's just perfect amount of heat, which means a lot of heat. I'm gonna miss this place so, so much. That's why I got three serving of Prada right now. I maybe come back here for dinner. Can't find anything even remotely close to this in the US. Mutton is so tender too. If you ever get a chance to make it to Singapore, come to this place, get the coin parada, get a regular parada, and then double that, and then definitely get some mutton curry. Thank you all for the recommendation again for this place. It's such a mind blowing. I've been to a lot of parada places here in Singapore at this point. Still, all time favorite one, by far. One more $2 freshly squeezed orange juice. I'm gonna miss this a lot. Last Singapore coconut. And last Hananese chicken rice. I've been eating at this chicken rice place a lot. Whenever I'm not filming, I'm just here eating chicken rice. These shrimp, 925 chicken rice. I think it's absolutely delicious. So tender. The chili sauce is awesome too. The rice is fragrant. There's another really popular chicken rice place around here. I just love coming here. Also, when I was filming at Putin, the Michelin star Chinese restaurant, they gave me a jar of their chili sauce. It's really good. Chili sauce with prawn inside. Can't really take it with me, so I'm basically eating a whole jar of chili sauce with one meal. My favorite would be home. I'm gonna miss the center. Thompson Center might not be big. Might not be one of the most popular food centers here in Singapore. It was the closest one to where I was staying. There are a lot of good food places around here. It's a really good chili sauce. Welcome to Japan. Heading to an amazing all-you-can-eat barbecue tonight. Uh, but before that, walk past this wacky burger place. Still remember the last one I had in Tokyo. Look at this. This, this juicy mess of a burger. Cheese, I think this chili sauce, giant piece of Iberical pork bacon, perfectly toasted bun. Look how beautiful that is. And if you just give it a little pressure at the top, and watch the juice flow. This is so hard to, to even eat, I think. Also, mentai cold dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's crazy good dipping sauce for your fries. These are really good fries, too. Really good fries, really good onion wings. Mm -hmm. This is one hefty, delicious burger. Wagyu patty is just bursting with juice. Now, barrel cold pork bacon, the steak is delicious. What I love about this is they give, they give you the wrapper to give you. Look at it, it doesn't leak one bit. Patty's perfectly grilled, nicely charred. It's such a fatty beef patty. I mean, it makes sense being a Wagyu patty. It was a delicious burger. I'm gonna have one of these, they head to the barbecue. This is gonna be a very, very meaty day.
Last meal today, and the one I was really looking forward to. Our first major feast here in Japan. Gotta be an all you can eat Japanese Wagyu barbecue. So there's a lot of items on the menu. You can get rice dishes, noodle dishes. This place is kind of like a like a yakiniku slash Korean barbecue. There's kimchi, there's Korean noodles. Well, actually, before I show you why this place is so cool and unique, they did bring over a sampler platter. Let's eat this first. I'm not sure what cuts of beef they brought over. I just know they look amazing. A wide variety of lean to very, very, very fatty cuts. And I'm talking about this one right here. Look how fatty this thing is. This might actually be used to grease the grill a little bit. There's also cuts of pork. Look at this pork belly. Almost all fat here. There's some thick, thick cuts of tongue. And the reason I'm putting as much meat as I can on the grill is, first of all, these are thick cuts of meat. So it's gonna take a little bit to cook. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Picture perfect A5 Wagyu. Like I was saying, not only does the thicker cuts of meat take longer to cook, I have a 100 minute time limit. And at all you can eat Wagyu buffet, that could mean I have 100 minutes to order and eat, or it could mean I'd be out the door in 100 minutes. That means I only have about an hour. So I've got to try to do as much eating as possible. So I got a lot of other dishes. There's a bibimbap, like a Wagyu bibimbap. Also, Wagyu sushi. Mm -hmm. Melting your mouth, delicious piece of Wagyu. And most of the cuts here are A5 Wagyu, so this is about as legitimately melting your mouth as you're gonna get. And because it's A5 Wagyu, that means there's so much grease and fire. Oh, this is so nice. Super hot stone bowl sauced up with strips of uncooked Wagyu in it. So just mix it up, let the Wagyu cook a little bit, and just hear the sizzle and smell that delicious aroma. This place is so overwhelming. I haven't even scratched the surface of how much different kinds of food you can get here yet. There's chilies, there's hot sauce, there's soy sauce. We're just plain salt. With good A5 Wagyu, this is all you need. Wasabi on your Wagyu. This might be a weird concept to people who love steak out there, but Wagyu is so fatty. It's just like eating meat butter. This is real wasabi here. And trust me, it goes so well with the pieces of Wagyu. Add a little wasabi. Mm. Like I said, I got a variety of cut. I don't know what kind of cuts they are yet, but after this, I'm gonna show you a meat counter. Oh yeah, that was a piece of A5 for sure. Mm. They also gave me cuts of tongue. You're supposed to eat the tongue first because it's not gonna be as fatty as the other cuts. And it had kind of a snappy texture. Piece of pork belly. Oh my gosh, that's better than some of the Wagyu I have. Well, that's just pure melty fat. I mean, delicious melty fat. I just ate that piece of Wagyu that used the fat to, to coat the grill. I think that's one of the most melty in your mouth things in existence. Of course, besides meat, you can grill scallions, peppers, mushrooms. And I love taking a bite of vegetables in between. Just have to keep your taste buds engaged. This looks so good. So A5 Wagyu with rice in a stone bowl. Mm. The rice is seasoned so well. The Wagyu, of course, melts your mouth. If you love fried rice, and if you love Wagyu, and you want to see how they taste together, this is the bite for you. I know rice is a filler here in the all-you-can-eat Wagyu buffet. Get this. The rice part that's touching the stone bowl has more of a burnt rice flavor, which is really the best flavor in this bowl. It's so good, I might get a second one. They just brought out this. Look at the marbling on this tongue. Beautiful. Mm. And also, Wagyu roast beef however they cook the beef the marbling is unmistakable in wagyu i wish i could have a giant roast beef sandwich made out of that all right let me show you guys the meat counter this is really pretty this is the meat counter and their wagyu selection changes all the time oh my goodness look at this i see super thin cuts there's some pork belly looks like some sirloin i see a ribeye this, this is the prettiest one. And then you can just tell them how big of a plate you want, big, medium, or small.
then right by the beef, there's organs and chicken and pork. And then check this out, some kind of tripe soup. So basically, when you want to get more uh, Wagyu, you, you go up to the magical meat counter and they fulfill basically every single one of your Wagyu loving dreams. Everything else, order on an iPad. And you can have all you can drink showed up. Phantom Melon, by the way. Or you can pay an extra, I think a thousand yen a person and get an unlimited alcohol. This might be one of the best all you can Wagyu places I've been to. I mean, here there's variety, there's quality. All this, about 40 US dollars. A5 Wagyu buffet. So many different cuts, so many different types of food. 40 you unbelievable. You could do this. You can go to a steakhouse and pay three, four hundred dollars for a piece of steak. I'd rather do this. I'd, I'd rather do both, but if I had to choose, I'd rather do this. And this round is gonna be a fast cooking round because look at this. Beautiful. Thin cuts of Wagyu, especially this cut. Look at this. This is about as pretty and as marbled as Wagyu can get. This is A5 Wagyu for sure. And this will cook so quickly. Oh my gosh, I kind of messed this one up. Look at this glistening cut of beef that only high quality Wagyu can bring you. They already put salt and pepper on this. Really all you need. Like I said, I recommend a little wasabi. It's a very common condiment that people use here for Wagyu. That is a life-changing bite. If you've ever had Wagyu before, try it like that. Traditionally, the best pieces of beef is eaten sukiyaki style. It want to really thin, really melt in your mouth. A thin cut of Wagyu. It's like making a soaky thin blinky out of pure butter and just putting it on your tongue. Nothing like the sensation of Wagyu melting, dissolving, or releasing all that beautiful butteriness and flavor and aroma and that great beefy taste. Also, make sure to get a couple of thick pieces in this cut. It just looks absolutely perfect. Again, don't need to cook the thinner cuts really all that long. But also the good thing about Wagyu is even if you do overcook it a little bit, it's not gonna lose any of its juiciness or tenderness. I think this round with all the thin cuts of Wagyu, it's my favorite round. Everything cooks so quickly. Mm. Pop it in your mouth and just enjoy that experience. There's also some cuts of pork in here. I got a couple of leaner cuts as well. Yeah, what I like to do with these cubes is sear all the sides so I can trap all that juice in. When it does get a little too rich though, and it probably will at a Wagyu buffet, it's inevitable. Throw in some vegetables, some mushrooms, toss on some seafood, like the scallops and butter, some octopus, prawns. Again, that's what I love about this place. There's so many different items here to really be able to keep your taste buds engaged. And check this out, I found this bowl of soup sitting by the meat counter. I see tripe, I don't know what this is, some daikons in here, and they put some chilies in here before they served it to me. Mmm, daikon's delicious, broth is delicious. Mmm, I love this, wow. It's so fatty and gelatinous -y and beefy. The tribe texture is a little snappy. They basically just put a ton of collagen and organ meats and stewed it all together. Pretty just a beefy, sticky masterpiece of a soup. Mm, I love it. That's perfect. Mm. The thicker cuts of Wagyu just brings so much juice. Try the thin cut, try the thicker cut, try all the cuts. Oh my gosh, there is cheese in this Wagyu. Mmm. And definitely try that cheesy cut. Whoa, that's good. Mm. Oh, this prawn is so good as well. This is such a good choice. Coming here my first day here in Japan. After so many years, and I've tried a lot of all you can eat Wagyu places outside of Japan, you'll never find a value like you would in this country. Mm. Just tried the Yuzu Wagyu. That's outstanding. Also, oxtail, Wagyu oxtail. Wow. I mean, oxtail already. It's very gelatinous, very fatty. This is just some extra melt in your mouth. Round three. Oh, cheesy Wagyu is my favorite. All right, my time is officially up. So they give you 100 minutes, but you only get 80 minutes to order and cook your food. The next 20 minutes is basically eat up, 
that you gotta be out the door in 100 minutes. For the price, for the value, for the quality of the cuts, this is one of the most worth it Ari King Wagyu places I've ever been to in Japan, in the world for that matter. So much different variety. Also, like I said, their cuts change all the time, so you can come back and try different cuts that maybe you didn't have the first time you came here. People are super nice, very helpful, and they give you dessert. Tofu pudding. It's not bad. Or, you can get a cream puff. Cream puff ice cream. Get this. And that's it for my first day back here in Japan in at least two years. And as always, all the places I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we meet again, see you later.